if you achieve and you calculate correctly, you can have some incredible results. But it's very easy to miscalculate uh, and fall down the other side of that slippery slope and have very poor performances. You need a structure, you need a discipline, and you need to love what you're doing, otherwise it wouldn't work. If you have a bad day, then, then that's the moment when you really lose the race. And um, uh, if you have a good day and if you are in the right mindset, that's where you could win the race. Race day, training, it all takes a lot of mental energy. And I do think the mentality is the biggest part of triathlon. I mean, physically, your body is a machine. You can make the body do things it doesn't want to do if you truly believe it can. And the key is, is if you truly believe it. Some people just have it and uh, could going in this uh, situation, could keep going in this situation. And I will always like try to look forward to this situation where it really matters, you know, where you, where you really uh, can push and show that you are strong and that your will is strong. And that's just something you have to keep in mind during the whole preparation and everything. That, of course, you prepare for the seven and a half hours before this point. But at the end, it's this point where it, where it really matters to, uh, to push. That's always the, also the, the best the best situation that's where um, when you really wear down with your body and everything and when you're really getting tired and uh, that's where you where you uh, yeah what what keeps you or what keeps you smiling at the finish that you that you done it and that you pushed through it even if it was very hard I mean that's what it's all about in uh, in long course racing um, and then it doesn't matter if you are like first place or eighth place because sometimes if somebody is stronger you couldn't just you couldn't influence the performance of your opponent. The worst enemy in in the mind while racing is when you come to a certain point where you struggle a lot physically and one part of the mind tells you that you have done enough and you don't have to push it that much or I mean you start to compromise a part of your mind start to compromise try to do compromises uh, so you doesn't don't have to push it that hard at the very end and that that's the thing you have to overcome uh, not to go down not to slow down the mind was just telling just kept telling me stay within yourself stay within yourself Keep the rhythm. The, to me, the bike, when the bike feels good, it is like music. The legs turn over. You are relaxed. You're not fighting, especially in a race that's as long as an Ironman. You put in a strong effort for no real reason, just to go faster or just because you can at early in the bike, it, you will pay for it 10 times more in the run. And it, my goal was the whole time, stay relaxed, keep your focus, and just focus on your form. 
Because if you focus on the miles or every little detail, and you, you, you become infatuated with them. And just to try to keep uh, just a, f a blank mind of keeping good arrow position and good cadence and just, just keep the day rolling positively. I think um, uh, to, to really train these moments where, you know, um, where it really, uh, where the race is deciding and where you, when you are so tired to, um, uh, how, how will you react in your mind and everything, that's very difficult to train. But um, of course I try to, to imagine how I feel in this moment and what I try to think or if any bad thoughts occur. It's like taping a video, you know, with some good memories and with some good images. That's the point where you really need to use all your tricks <laughs> you have to push your pace, to, to keep the, the intensity all the way to the finish line. I think that is where, um, that's where the big difference is where you're going to finish, if you're going to finish uh, in top or if maybe not even finish at all. So I use, usually I have, I focus on different things about my technique. Maybe for example, uh, the frequency of my steps when running or I can f maybe sometimes I focus on different things uh, during the last 10 Ks, but mentally I also try to dedicate the last uh, part of my um, marathon to someone else or something that is bigger than myself. Um, so I feel that I'm not doing it for myself. Uh, I'm doing it for something or someone else and that's why I cannot definitely not quit. To win for me is obviously to be the first female crossing the finish line, but an even bigger accomplishment could be a victory, which is for me um, accomplishing something, that, a goal that you have set for yourself. For nobody it's easy. For the winner, sometimes it looks easy, but it's not. They have the same problems like everybody else. The, when, when you don't want to go anymore, when your body wants to quit. And um, that's where, where the mind is really, uh, really mattering. And uh, so I think, yeah, definitely the, the mind is, is at the end is, is the key. Because your body could do much more than you think, but only if your mind has control over your body and could tell what to do because um, and it feels very it's it's a good feeling if, um, if you have a good day and you could you could really uh, <laughs> make your body could uh, uh, doing things that you don't think it's possible the worst thing uh, when you set a goal and you're working hard to achieve it is when something outside of your control affects it affects the outcome meaning whether it be illness, injury, things like that. Um, for example, in a race, if you're having a great race and a flat tire, you have no control. I mean, that morning, you, I mean, your training, everything could be a going perfect, and then you get flat tire. And it's outside of your control. It's not something that you can, that you could have controlled. In that moment, you go through so many emotions. You go through the emotion of letdown. You go through the emotion of, I can still do this. You go through the motion of, why do I do this? You go through just thousands of emotions in a matter of a second, two seconds, three seconds. I mean, and you go over and over through these, through these actions and through these, these different mindsets. And it is mental maturity from experience, experience. It is mental maturity 
from your training, that you train your mind to push away the negative ones and find the one or two positive ones that exist and to channel those to push you forward. Being able to control the mind, so having a strong mind is very important, if not essential. Um, even though a short distance as a sprint distance uh, is called a short distance, it's, it's still a long race and you still have to train a lot. Uh, dedicate many hours of your time in training. A long distance, um, it's also a really long day when you're racing. Uh, so you have to be, have a strong, strong mind because in the end of a race, I think it's more about who has the strongest mind than who has the strongest body. No day is perfect. No day is perfect. The mind can overcome the physical uh, limitations. In, to a certain point and also you need a strong mind to uh, be dedicated and to be focused with your training. I just focus on the moment and I mean really fear, the biggest thing I fear is uh, not being able to do this tomorrow. The same thing you do with your body, you know, you train your body and then you give, give it rest and you start to improve, it's the same thing with the mind, you know. Um, uh, you have to give your mind rest to become an Iron Man. It's a person who really enjoy and have a passion for what they're doing. Someone who just loves, loves what they do and have no intention to stop. Stuff will go wrong and you will bend. You can twist, you can turn, and it's not ideal, but you're, you're gonna be there at the end of the day. You're still gonna be fighting and you're still gonna be strong. So I think, I mean, ideally, if they wanted to make the heart the hardest steel, they would have called it, or the hardest, the hardest of anything, they might have called it Diamond Man but diamonds are so hard, they're brittle and they crack. And an iron man, an iron mind, an iron, somebody who is made of iron, they're hard, but they don't break. <laughs>